Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Before we dive into today's video, please take a moment to click on the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Your support is greatly appreciated. Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, recently shared her heartfelt Christmas decorations that pay tribute to her grandson, August Philip Hawk Brooksbank. Displaying a Christmas ornament featuring a snail named Augustus, she promoted her upcoming children's book, Tale of Tales. Princess Kate and Queen Camilla have also showcased meaningful ornaments in the past, emphasizing the importance of loved ones during the festive season. Kate, in particular, included special additions to the Christmas trees sourced from Windsor Great Park in honor of the late Queen. Many Paddington bears and Paddington bear baubles adorned the trees, symbolizing the connection between Queen Elizabeth Yu and Paddington bear established during a comedy video for the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Similarly, the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, bought a sentimental gift for Prince Harry during their first Christmas in America in 2020. The gift was a Christmas ornament featuring the Queen's face, bringing joy to Prince Harry and Meghan. However, their son, Prince Archie, accidentally caused the ornament to fall and break, adding a unique twist to their holiday story. Queen Camilla has involved young children in decorating her Christmas trees, as seen in 2020 when nine children supported by Helen and Douglas House Hospice virtually decorated her tree. The personalized ornaments with handwritten names created a touching and unique display. In contrast, King Charles opted for unconventional Christmas decorations at Highgrove House in 2020. Departing from the traditional baubles and ribbons, he adorned the tree with intricate embroidered decorations shaped like champagne glasses, deer, and a cordy. The cordy held special significance as it was a favorite of his late mother, Queen Elizabeth, who had a notable fondness for cordis throughout her reign.